We have a bunch of Season 5 info to go through here in today's video. New gameplay just released, all five tiers of the new Death Perception perk were revealed, and also we have Treyarch's response to the overall negative reaction to the DLC perk in the game. If you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that, and be sure to drop a like on the video as well. I'm also doing a giveaway over on my Twitter for the Season 5 Battle Pass. I'll announce the giveaway winner in my stream for Season 5 Wednesday night next week. Links will be down below to enter. Let's first go through the new trailer we got today for season five call of duty tweeted out echelon slums drive-in zoo and showroom five maps are just the tip of the iceberg for black ops cold war in season five gear up on august 12th this mini gameplay trailer gives us some really cool shots of the new mp maps in this game i don't know about you guys but these seem to be some of the best new mp maps we've had a part of a new season in this game echelon looks really cool showroom looks good as well slums of course is a classic but more importantly, Zoo and Drive-In, the Black Ops 1 remakes, look really, really cool. You can especially tell the difference between the old version of a map and the new version when that map came from a game that released a long time ago. Back in Black Ops 1, the graphics were just inferior to the games of today, so seeing a map like Drive-In, a map that has only ever been played on consoles with far worse graphics than that of today, on this game now, it's such a huge difference to see, so I know there is the argument that we're seeing too many remakes, but that's just what we have now. Might as well enjoy the DLC. I don't mind a lot of the remakes in this game, especially if the remakes are maps that really haven't been brought back before. For maps like drive-in which are really obscure a lot of new people might not even know drive-in was ever a map are really sick because to the new people it's a whole new experience pretty much a new map and to the old fans you are surprised and hyped to see a map you never thought would return in this game so hopefully they do a bit more of that in the future seasons for this game but also the future call of duty games as well now let's move on to the death perception perk tiers here because there's a lot of stuff to go through let's go through first exactly what the tiers are for this perk mw2 ghost tweeted this out here are the tiers for the new death perception perk tier one minimap update rate increased tier two enemies give danger indicators when behind the player tier three gain 20 percent more looted salvage tier four increased armor penetration damage by 10 percent and tier five nearby chests resources and item drops are key lined through walls i don't exactly know how to feel about this perk the 20 percent more looted salvage seems pretty good increased armor penetration damage by 10 percent is a good addition as well even tier two where enemies give damage indicators when behind the player that's kind of cool as well but i can't help but think some of these tiers are just not needed or would make more sense as maybe an outbreak specific perk as a round based zombies player upgrading this perk to tier 5 just to be able to see chest resources item drops through walls doesn't seem like a rewarding tier 5 upgrade compared to the other perks in the game right now for a round base zombies map example this could go for other situations as well in outbreak but let's say you're in the subway in marager toten you're in the close quarters down there it may be useful to be able to see that around the corner in a room that you wouldn't have otherwise gone into there's a dropped monkey bomb on the floor and now with this tier 5 ability you could quickly get to that monkey bomb and it could prove to be really useful and helpful in the game this tier isn't completely useless and it could help with outbreak especially when you're searching for chests around the map other items that you may need stim shots on the floor it's all good it just really doesn't seem like a sick and rewarding tier 5 upgrade for a perk in this game now let's go through some other ideas people have to change the death perception tiers around to make them a lot better this guy says this would be mine to actually make the perk useful tier one minimap is constant tier two enemies that appear through walls are marked permanently until killed tier three gain 50 percent more salvage tier four increase armor penetration damage by 30 percent and tier five marked enemies receive 40 percent more damage this concept here seems pretty good i think the percentages are a bit too high this version of the perk might be a bit too overpowered for the game but that tier 5 seems a lot more rewarding than just the resources being marked through the walls making it so the marked enemies maybe receive a bit more damage temporarily right as you turn the corner that could be pretty cool honestly but let's go through here another concept for this perk this guy says tier 1 minimap refresh rate tripled 
tier 2, insert 6 cents and gain a short speed boost when attacked from behind. Tier 3, gain 25% more looted salvage. Tier 4, armor penetration damage increased by 10%. Bullets now penetrate through more zombies. And tier 5, stuff is marked through the walls. Pretty much the same as the original tier 5 there. This is also kind of cool as well. And the tier 2, I like a lot. Seems a lot better than the tier 2 that we have in the perk right now. Not only are you getting a damage indicator, but you actually get a little bit of a boost when zombies, and especially think about play counts, are attacking you from behind. Seems kind of useful there, and especially if you're not running. Obviously, if you're sprinting with stamina up, you should be good, but any other case where you're walking around, you're doing something, having a sixth sense type of perk that gives you that little boost when zombies really start to attack you and go behind you, and it seems like you may die, that could be a pretty good feature there. But again, let me know down below your opinions on that. That may also be a bit too overpowered but as i've been saying of course i think a lot of you guys agree with me as well i definitely want this game to be more on the fun side rather than oh is this balanced properly is this too op because again this is zombies i'm pretty sure for the most part people come to play zombies just to have fun a lot of people take it seriously but most people just want to have fun here let's go through some stuff that kevin drew lead game designer at treyarch in charge of zombies systems and outbreak for black ops cold war he tweeted this out just to me doing a regular check-in to see how the zombies community is reacting to our seasonal content announcement also i really like death perception as an average skilled player clearly he has seen the negative response people have had to this perk so far he adds that he likes the perk as an average skilled player now from that perspective it makes a bit more sense as to why they wanted to add the perk hardcore zombie fans may not like this but a lot of these tiers seem to help you with things that hardcore players may not have ever had a problem with most zombie players from the past are used to no mini map two to three hits to get downed a lot more difficult circumstances than what we have in cold war zombies right now so having tiers that make the minimap update even faster just isn't something hardcore zombie fans are as excited to see in my opinion now don't get me wrong i'm not mad that the game isn't more difficult in fact like i said before i want them to make zombies a bit more fun and enjoyable for all players and this perk does just that the problem for me and with other players as well is that we just can't get as hyped up for the perk being added to the game this perk and all the tiers will probably better my gameplay experience i'll admit that but in the way that a new balancing patch update does rather than a new dlc perk with all new cool features in the game hopefully you guys get what i mean there here are some other reactions to kevin drew's tweet about this chopper says admitting i was kind of off guard by the choice certainly open to the idea though and interested how it will affect the game i think that's the general consensus among most of the zombie fans in the community a lot of people are just confused as to why they went with this route why they chose this perk as the new dlc perk in cold war zombies when it just doesn't seem that special and that useful i mean i get their reasoning for it and a lot of people do too and again a lot of people including me we're open to see how it will impact the game Maybe it will prove to be one of the best perks in the game once we actually use the features and see how it affects our gameplay going to high rounds, stuff like that. But as of now, it just seems a bit weird as to why they would bring this perk out of all the other fan favors that they could have brought back. They could have brought back Voltrade and put some of the death perception tiers into one of the Voltrade tiers. That would have been really cool. It would have hyped everyone up. Everyone would have been like, oh wow, Voltrade's returning. Tier 4 and Tier 5 could have been the same stuff from death perception. And you could also have other tiers that more fit Voltrade. So I don't know. They could have done this in a different perk to make it more marketable as well. I'm kind of confused as to why they chose Death Perception as the main perk in this game. A perk from Black Ops 4 Zombies that most people either don't know about and the people that do know about the perk didn't enjoy the perk back in that game. It's just bad marketing in my opinion. They could, they could have easily just had Voltrade as the main perk and brought most if not all of the Death Perception tiers into the Vulturade tiers. It could have just been better marketing. A lot of people would just be like, wow, it's Vulturade, but with all of these different tiers to what we had with the Death Perception back in BO4 Zombies. Would have been kind of cool there. And maybe for one of the tiers, they could have added the super cool Vulturade feature where you get that green cloud of gas around you to make it so the zombies don't attack you. That would have been kind of cool as the tier five upgrade. And again, tiers one through four could have been all of the Death Perception tiers all in those tiers now. So I don't know. They could have done that. Could have been good. But 
I guess that's not what they wanted to do there. Now, Jay Rizzo also said this, I loved Death Perception in BO4, but other perks were simply stronger choices, so I'm glad to see it in a game without a perk limit. Fingers crossed that Ethereal Razor returns one day as well. So this is actually interesting. So he says he actually did like Death Perception in BO4, but other perks would have been better to have in a game. And it's also cool to see no perk limit because really it's not like you're sacrificing another really good perk to use Death Perception. Even if it helps you a little bit, Death Perception won't really hurt you because there's no perk limit. You could use all of the perks, so it's just helping you a little bit, even if it's not the best perk ever. It doesn't hurt you at all for buying the perk, so he makes a pretty good point there. And Ethereal Razor, that perk in BO4, it gave players a buff to their melee attacks that will allow them to gain health when attacking enemies. Kind of a cool little feature there. Doesn't seem too crazy. That could have been added to one of the tiers, I guess, but I don't know. It seems like an okay perk, but overall, let me know down below. How do you feel about Death Perception out of all perks being at Cold War Zombies? Of course, they have a reason for this. They didn't just do this out of nowhere. They didn't just bring back a random perk for BO4 for no reason. It seems they want to use this perk to overall increase the quality of life for players going for high rounds, for casual players, stuff like that. It just doesn't seem like too much of an enticing perk to really get hyped for and actually buy in the game, but maybe again, will prove to be wrong once it actually is added to the game very soon. So let me know down below your opinions on that. There are two videos up on screen that may interest you, so be sure to check one of them out. Really do appreciate it, guys. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.